Hey guys, Reeve here, and I get asked this quite a lot on stream, so I thought it would just be easier to put it into a video. This is going to be my short little guide on how you can kill demonic gorillas after you finish Monkey Madness 2. So, first things first, what I decided to take is, I obviously do these on task, so the first thing I start with is a Slayer Helmet. After this, I obviously have a Fire Cape, I'm into the Fury, um, I put whatever ammo I'm using uh, for ranged in here. I have a Fighter Torso, Obby Legs, Dragon Boots, Expeditious Bracelet, Abbey Dagger, Dragon Defender, and Berserker Ring. Now, one thing I will say is, if you have an Arc Light and you have it charged, use the arc light instead because it does 70 percent increased damage to black demons it will speed up your task a lot and will help you obviously get more money in the long run this doesn't really matter as such i would just use good defensive gear or good strength gear whatever you have it doesn't really matter first things first is they will use three types of attack style and they will prey against at least two types of attack style so you have to take two types yourself so what i decided to go for is melee and range because my mage level isn't that great so for the setup and my inventory what i usually take is my range gear which i have here you can go for more swaps if you want, but I honestly find that four is completely fine. It doesn't really make a massive difference. I just make sure that I have Avas to preserve the ammo that I'm going for. And then I take the God Dehyde. Some people do take Carols, some people will take um, other types of armor. It doesn't really matter. Um, just go for whatever you have. You can substitute out this Dragon Crossbow for a Rune Crossbow. Um, it doesn't honestly matter. And most pe some people do use a Blowpipe as well. So the rest of my gear is, or the rest of my inventory is, I have a super combat, I have a range pot, and then I take two super stores because for some reason, super stores right now are cheaper than prayer pots. And then the rest of my inventory, I have sharks and obviously my royal seed pod, which I got whenever I finished Monkey Madness 2. This is to get me in and out. So to get there, what you need to do is take a royal seed pod. The reason I'm standing beside this, spirit trees, you can take this to the gnome stronghold if you want, but this is just way easier. The seed pod takes you right in. So what we need to do is once we're taking the seed pod, we need to go up towards northwest, run up here, down this little hill, and you will see a small crossing. And that is the crossing that you need to go into beside Lumo and the gravestone for Neve. So once you're in here, you want to head up uh, northeast. Now, first thing I will say is actually just a small little fun thing is after you finish Monkey Bandits 2, if you see the crates beside the cave entrance, if you search them, you'll get a little monkey out of it. Um, and he takes place of your uh, cape slot. It's not really good stats, but it's just for fun. Um, anyway, so this is the cave entrance. First things first is whenever you go into this cave, you want to protect range because there is tortured grills down there and they will attack you straight away as soon as you get down. Um, however uh, demonic grills aren't that far you just basically do you turn once you're down now well i will explain the combat before we go into it they have three types of attack as i said earlier they have mage at melee and range and they can hit you with all three the mage one is uh kind of like jad's attack they'll hold up on their hind legs whenever they're going to attack the range one is they will throw a boulder at you and the melee one is obviously just them meleeing you there is a small little trick to this though nine times out of ten their first attack will be mage so once i actually get to the demonic grills i always pray mage i don't know whether or not this is actually a thing but i find it and i've killed over four or five hundred so far um so i always pray range as soon as i go in um before i actually even go into the cave i always decide to pot up just to make sure that i'm fully potted whenever i go in the most important thing is make sure you are using prey against whatever they're attacking because if you're not concentrating this does take a little bit of focus if you're not concentrating they can hit you for 30s and they can stack you pretty easily for 60 damage so obviously that's not great so just try to stay focused on what they're attacking with and then sort your own offensive gear out after so i'll show you we need to go down into the cave entrance turn on range i think this actually might be a little safe spot so you might be okay here and if you'll see on the mini map it's kind of just like a u-turn so what you want to do is go east north and then west and then around here is the tortured grills but in here is the demonics so what you want to do is you can even just click here and your uh it'll just path you around that way so i'm already potted up i'm range potted so you'll go in here and you'll see that they're praying against one type of attack obviously don't hit them so that one's melee so for example i'm going to swap to my range gear real quick I'm already, and I'm gonna swap to mage because that's what they usually use. I'm just gonna attack this one. So he's praying against melee, so I would say I can hit him with range. And he has apparently one tenth of health, but he's using range as his first attack. So I wanna pray against that. He's praying against my range, so I just wanna go in and hit him with melee for there. And that's pretty much it. Like, that is the basic concept of it. Once you've got that down, 
that's all you need to do so just pay attention to it and once you've got it then you'll get used to it I, I, it took me honestly about two or three trips to kind of get used to what i was actually doing um but they are really good money and they do save you from doing black demons so i hope you have the best of it if you'd like to see some more in depth with it um you can head over to my channel review k on twitch um i stream there every day pretty much um at the moment so hopefully i'll see you there and uh, good luck with demonic grills